<laughs> Deep within the heart of an African village, a legend was born, not of roaring lions or swift gazelles, but of a man named Ao. Unlike the warriors who adorned themselves with feathers and paint, Ao sought a different kind of strength. He yearned for the unyielding spirit of the rhino, a creature revered for its power and resilience. One scorching afternoon, Ao ventured into the scorching savanna. He returned days later, his weathered face etched with determination. He had found his answer, a magnificent rhino horn, gleaming in the harsh sunlight. With the help of the village elder, Ao secured the horn to his head. The villagers gasped, a mixture of awe and apprehension in their eyes. Ao, however, stood tall. He wasn't just a man anymore, he was the rhino man, a symbol of unwavering strength, and a protector of his people. News of the rhino man spread like wildfire. Some saw him as a fool, others as a madman. But Ao remained resolute. He trained with newfound vigor, his body hardening like the rhino's hide. When a hyena pack threatened the village livestock, the rhino man charged, the glint of the horn sending the predators scattering. His legend grew with each act of bravery, becoming a beacon of hope and a testament to the power of unwavering belief. The tale of the rhino man serves as a reminder that strength isn't always about size or weaponry. It can be found in the depths of one's spirit, fueled by a connection to something greater. Ao, the man who dared to embody the rhino, became a legend, proving that sometimes, the most extraordinary things come from the most yeah. unexpected yeah. places. What's the word, Johnny? <laughs> you know what, Johnny? On set, it's so, Bella. And you said, we are, we are ushering people in reality. Why? We are now awkward. <laughs> Two to be to careful. Two. And careful. I make a trail, it's giving and it's giving. Be careful. And I'm <laughs> laugh. The food be on. Why they talk like a man? Eh? Why they talk like a man?